Hello, this is MechaJ101, and here's a run of my internal combustion engine, because a bunch of you guys have been bugging me and bugging me about just doing a short run of it. Um, so, here it is in its finished state. Well, not finished state. It still has a lot. Of, it's a work in progress. It's still got a bunch of things I want to add to it. Um, some of the things I want to add are a better oiling system, a cooling system that's more proper than just a boiling water, um, and then, what was the other thing I wanted to add? Uh... Better ignition system because it's trans this this works pretty good, but I think I might want to upgrade that to something else. Well, I do want to make it so it can run itself, so uh, that's one thing I want to change. Um, I think I also want to uh, revisit making the carburetor, so I'm going to make something a little bit smaller and hopefully easier to control, and also maybe speed control. But that's a lot of things I want to work on, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Um, so for now, let's just do a run of it. Um, so. At the, at the end of the video, I'll tell you some things about it. Um, but anyways, it puts out about 15 watts. I've got a little generator hooked up here, which is from a photocopier. It's just a uh, um, brushless DC mo stepper motor thingy. Works really good as a generator. Um, this is a little bit different one. This one actually will put out about 30 um, volts max, which is not bad at all. Um, and uh, so about 15 watts for this engine. It's going into this little three-phase bridge rectifier diode setup. So there's six diodes there that rectified into DC and I'm charging this battery right here. We've got voltage there and current here. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, power it up here. We'll see if it's going to try and run. So we got to turn on that. Oh, we've got to turn on my um, ventilation fan. So we've got ventilation there set up. So that's good. So, yep. Um, what else? Uh, let's see if it's going to start here. Sometimes it doesn't start on first try, but sometimes it does. We'll see if it goes here. Oh, we are close there. Here we go. So there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, it, it burns about 
So yeah, it puts out about max 15 watts, and as you can see, my cell phone charger, even though it's rated for 100 to 240 volts, it runs fine at about down to 24 volts. So if I put 30 volts from this generator into it, it's perfectly happy, and it charges my cell phone real, real easily. Which my cell phone draws, I don't know what it was drawing there, but usually it charges at about 11 watts. So, uh, but yeah, so about 11 watts, 11, between between about 10 to 15 watts depending on how it's running. I've gotten up to 15 watts continuous, but it just depends on how it's running. Sometimes it runs really well, sometimes it doesn't run well. Um, max RPM I've gotten it up to is about uh, 4,000 RPM, which is insane. I was probably, maybe at some points in the video, it was going about 3,000 RPM, but most of the time it was generally, generally it's between two and 3,000. But, um, and I kind of get it to idle down to about nine, eight to 900 RPM, so not too bad. Um, what else? Fuel consumption is about uh, 1 to 1.3 grams per minute, so which sounds like a lot of fuel, but really, and it also it drains this in about 15 to 20 minutes, so that doesn't last that long, and it also gets really cold too because it's evaporating the fuel in there. Um, but so so at that fuel consumption rate, which if you calculate if you take into consideration or if you calculate the uh, um, what whatever the the energy content for gasoline which I'm actually burning Coleman fuel but it's very similar to gasoline um, which is like 40 40 kilojoules per gram I think um, so if you do the math and everything it comes out to that it's guzzling about um, seven to eight hundred watts equivalent of heat energy going into the engine and so we're getting about 15 watts out so that runs around like one to two percent efficient so not too bad for a homemade engine like this which is i mean i was hoping for 10 watts out of this 15 watts is amazing though so uh i'm really excited that this is even working at all um but yeah so so yeah that's and it still has great compression i also switched to a different type of o-ring i got some uh some Viton O-rings instead of the old, uh, whatever, whatever I was using before, the normal cheap black ones. So these are just the nitro, nit nitrile uh, O-rings. Those ones, they actually, when it heats up, like, when it heats up, um, the oil or Coleman fuel actually uh, makes the O-ring shrink. And that's why I was getting really bad compression after, I would have to replace these every about, eh, probably hour of running time. So this Viton O-ring that I put in here, I've been running it probably about three hours now, and it has not has not lost compression yet. When it cools down, it does lose compression, but once it heats up, it gains compression back again. So it's amazing though. So it's this is a really exciting project. But I'm almost I'm almost thinking I might uh, try building another internal combustion engine, but this time not use solder because I know a lot of you guys are complaining that, oh, you, I can't solder that well, you guys, you have such awesome soldering skills, and I'm like, no, it's soldering is easy, but I don't know. Um, so I might try building another internal combustion engine, but using uh, JB weld instead of solder, so, and see how that goes. But I have a couple methods that I'm thinking that might work. So we'll see how that goes. And I'm still using the original JB Weld piston. It, it's still charred looking on the end, but it hasn't burned yet or anything. It still still works great. But uh, so yeah, this is this is awesome. But yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. Um, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching and keep experimenting.